the safety comes first for any journalist and you need to know the low codes, regulations and how to tickle the story uh, in a smart way by using you know, um, the right tools. I say that the area in general, Lebanon is very important to the training of the international organizations to enter the safety of the safety. Because we are usually the first time to enter the safety of the safety of the safety of the safety. نحتر بالسلام المهني وما بنعرف انه نحن عم نحط حالنا بخطر كثير كبير، لازم تتعاون يعني المنظمات التي تدرب على السلام المهني لتزويد مؤسساتنا بمعايير وبلفت انتباهها الى خطوره التعريض الصحفيين او تعريض الصحفيين حتى انفسهم، يعني انا كمان بعرض نفسي احيانا للخطر لما ما براعي السلام المهني. Journalism has never been risk free, we know that. But unfortunately, now and, and more and more, uh, we are facing threats and risks to journalists. Therefore, the usual caution, note of caution from IFJ, is that please be careful, uh, be aware of risks that you may encounter in your work, and take measures uh, that are necessary to keep you safe. Now, I could give you some. One is to avoid any routine which would allow uh, easy surveillance uh, on you. Basically, the principle is, do not be an easy target. Don't take big cameras, don't take a notepad, pen, that, this and all. And always, and other main important thing is that don't park your car near the camp. You just park somewhere and walk into the camp and be very simple dressed. Look like a worker, be like an ordinary man, don't show off anything. And if when I enter the camp also, I will tell them, don't gather around me. If there are 500 people, all the 500 come and gather around me, it's, it becomes too much obvious that people from outside looking, oh, something is happening. Avoid unhealthy competition. We do know that journalists are competing for stories. Uh, they need to be first uh, or, or in uh, reporting on something. But it's important to make sure that whatever you do does not entail unnecessary risks. You should take the permission from the editor if you are going to the camp. You should inform your friends, social workers, organizations that you are going there. I will enter into the room and then I will sit with them. Four or five people tell me this thing. Then I will get the numbers and I will get out of the camp. I never have spent more than 30 minutes in any camp for most of the stories I have done. It's a risky thing because outsiders also can inform the police and I'm trespassing in another guy's property. Uh, without his permission. And if I ask for permission, they won't give any permission. And finally, uh, make sure that um, you know uh, who else is working in that particular domain. Because we believe that safety is in numbers. So the more you are uh, working together, the more you're able to look after one another. And that's solidarity in action for journalists. Make good connection with the trade union guys and uh, the local Arabs so that they are also informed that I am there. Many a times trade unions come with me. Uh, two or three guys were there, they used to come with me. So I was very much secure that nobody will question me if I'm with an Arab. If I'm alone, then it's a problem. And always there should be a friend who should be ready to come and rescue you if there is some kind of problem. And uh, at the same time, you should also inform your own embassy if it's a big story that I'm there for the story. So that if something happens, the embassy can pull me out.